Hey money loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another hair review. As y'all can see, I was sent over some hair from Cranberry Store on AliExpress. They sent me over a closure in three bundles. I have in my head a 20 inch closure and the bundles are 24 and 226s. This closure was sent as a middle part and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I laid this closure flat as can be and how I plucked the closure to make it look super natural. First, I just made sure the middle part was lined up evenly before I started plucking and I'm just going to get that straight. And when I start plucking the closure, I just smooth the hair back and just start plucking in random spots behind the hairline. And once I pluck the hair, I comb out whatever hair I've plucked and see where the hairline is looking like. That way I can make sure whether I need to pluck more or whether I just need to go ahead and move on to another part of the closure. And as y'all see me pluck in this closure, I want y'all to get a good look at this hair, how soft it looks through video, and how laid the closure already came. I literally didn't have to do much to this closure at all besides pluck it and iron it a little and then it was good to go. But y'all, this hair is like a butter, literally. This wig was so easy to make and it's literally one of the best wigs that I've ever made. It just lays so flat and because of the quality of the hair, it helped the hair look really well as a wig as well. So again, I'm just going to continue to plug and comb out the loose hair and I'm going to let you guys go ahead and finish watching me pluck it and then we're going to move on to laying the wig down. So this is how the hairline turned out. I think it looks super natural and good. And now I'm just going to move on to the middle part and make sure it is a wide enough for me and just pluck a little bit of hair off. I know it looks like I'm pulling really hard through the video, but I'm really not y'all. I'm just taking little strands of hair and pulling them out just to make the part a little bit wider and natural. Just make sure you guys take your time when plucking and everything so you do not rip the lace because that will be bad. You'll have a big hole in it and it'll just be a mess. So just take your time. So obviously I'm taking my wand curler and just flattening out the top of the hair. I would use the flat iron to do it, but it's so much easier just to have the wand to just press down and flatten it. 
Um, if you guys don't have a wand, a flat iron work just the same. Or if you have a hot comb or any hot tools like that, it'll work all pretty much the same when it comes to flattening out your wicks. Now that I have just cut off the lace, I'm going to move on to the scalp area of the lace. I'm going to use a powder that's the same color as my skin just to put into the middle part as well as long the lace in the front just to blend it into my forehead so it doesn't look like a head on my head <laughs> so if you guys are into bleaching your knots or bleaching your lace that probably will work as well but i personally don't like bleaching my wigs because it will cause a lot of shedding and everything like that so a face powder works for me now that i have laid the closure i'm going to go ahead and press out the hair with my flat iron i'm just doing one pass through the hair because the hair is already straight it doesn't take much to make it straight so i'm just doing one pass through the hair and i'll be done pretty much Also to make the closure super flat, I make sure to part on the actual closure and flatten the hair on that as well. That will really help the hair on the closure lay down super flat. I didn't really use any products on the hair either when I was demonstrating this. The only thing I used was a hair serum and a heat protectant and that's about it. Okay guys, um, I'm done doing the hair. This closure is a freaking bomb. As y'all can see from the beginning, I didn't have to do much to this closure. I just used my little curling wand just to press down the outer edges of it in the back here. And then I just did one pass with my flat iron and it is silky straight now. This is what I call sleek. Okay, and then the closure, like the plucking of it, like girl, the wind blow, they're gonna be like, what closure, for real? It's laid, okay? No need for baby hair, like. And the other thing I love about this hair is that it is not frizzy at all even out the pack it's not frizzy it's not a whole bunch of little beard hairs just sticking up there is a little bit going on back here but that's not really noticeable just take some hairspray and spray that down and it's good to go so what i'm going to do is go ahead and you know do my makeup and everything and get cute and then i'll be right back but I will not be showing you guys how I did the baby hair. I do have plenty, plenty of videos of me doing baby hair and everything like that. So I didn't want to waste any time in the video to show y'all that. So y'all definitely go check out some of those videos I have with me laying baby hairs. This method I do with plucking, you actually wouldn't need to do baby hair. But of course, my forehead is just so big. I just feel like I need some baby hair from time to time so that's what I did this is very sleek I feel like it looks really good of course my head is big but that's just what it is so 